What's up, guys? You're welcome back. Thanks a lot for the visit. A lot of people are asking us about this uh, Pastor Tio's uh, case. What is the the story all about and um, the authenticity of the story? Now, going back, going back, 2023, June to be precise, Pastor Tio was arrested by EFCC June 2023. Though the record was not published, it was a secret arrest and it was bailed and released on bail and uh, it wasn't published as you can see in this uh, publication of punch it was published last week on the 6th of february you know 2024 so the arrest was private and uh, everything was uh, mellowed down now you ask me now why did the case come up you can see the placard i was holding is 2023 theophilus eboni oluchi 2023 which shows that he is the one but well, this was 2023. Now, fast forwarding it to now February. Why did the story come to landlight? Why did uh, Punch carry it? Punch is, is, is a, a credent paper, so Punch cannot lie. Though he came to deny that he was never arrested, then EFCC now have to come in. Now, the true story now and the baseline is in Punch. And the whole story in Punch reads that he was arrested last year. Uh, charges being he would defrauded this faithful or, or this uh, grant whatever you know the story better than I uh, about the grant uh, fake grant you know defrauded this faithful and they promised them fake grant uh, then they paid some money for the grant and the NGO things like that and the money was amounting to to I think one million dollars i'm not too precise but if you put it in naira it's 1.3 billion naira that's the amount of defrauded people of you know those in grant community knows the story better than i do so but what we are now talking about is the recent happening now so efcc have to arrest him again on the grounds that he never repented of the act the act he was charged with before so that's the that's the update so you can still grab the punch paper on the 6th of february to have a, a a read or you can go to the net and check the punch paper you know the thing is quite disheartening that uh, those that won't trust though we are not here to judge we are not here to judge but truth be told the art needs to be condemned you know the arts, we have to pray for him we really have to pray for him, but the art needs to be condemned because if you if you take in the grant community, a lot of people are dying. A lot of people died because of the money that was uh, defrauded from them. A lot of people relations, a lot of people life was never the same. So we are not here to really judge anybody. But what we are here to to do is to give you information and you decide what you do with the information so that is that about his case he was arrested last year this year investigation was carried out that there was no repentant act so he was rearrested you know by the efcc though the investigation is is still going on so guys that is that is that about the whole issue so guys thanks a lot for crisscrossing our channel we plead with you to subscribe to our channel drop your comment in the description below any observation anything you you observe any point you want us to to make any point anything you want us to correct feel free to to dialogue with us feel free to drop it in the description below you know nobody is a monopoly of knowledge we are here seeking information and disposing information so drop your comment in the description below and those in the grant community we pray today is sunday we pray that god in his infinite mercy and goodness will let us feel the the liberating feeling of the disbursement getting to our account so guys thanks a lot for watching Really thank you for your support. Bye for now. See you on our next videos, guys. I'm out. Peace out, guys. One love.